probably Leo just hit the DMT pipe. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. And if this is the first time that you see my bald head, guys, let me tell you, I come from new age myself i've been heavily into meditation yoga psychedelic plant medicines i went to south america where i drank ayahuasca with the shamans and what not studied non-duality i am awareness all of that stuff before i recently found back to christian orthodoxy so today we have a different type of reaction videos usually on this channel i react to the malnutrition of veganism however today i want to react to leo from actualized.org who had a total awakening in real time he filmed the whole thing it took him one hour 20 minutes so i'm pretty confident that i can't respond to the whole video we're just gonna start watching it and see where it takes us let's do it <laughs> testing <laughs> is this thing working test test okay seems uh. to work Hold on, let me see how much battery I got. <laughs> it's pretty cringy. <laughs> oh, man. I hope this is recording. <laughs> uh. I want to I want to capture this because it's so funny. Mm. Uh, so I just uh, wow! Did you just see those eyes? Is this the look of enlightenment, Leo? I ask you. Is this a true awakening? Look at this look. All I see is demonic possession. But let's proceed. Uh, so I just uh, wow. <laughs> minutes ago, moments ago, and this is probably for a good fifteen minutes now. <laughs> I've been I've been going. I've been going through a total awakening. Hold on, what is, what is at my door? Total awakening. Hmm. <laughs> Bad trip. Yes. I'm recording here. Thanks. <laughs> I don't think he cares. Okay, and here we go. Awakening enlightenment debunked by yourself. How, you might ask? Simple. If you truly would be actualized, actualized.org, you would be a truly enlightened human being if there is such a thing. Wouldn't you think that you would act out of love? You would open up the door. Welcome that DHL man. Come on in. Have a drink with me. Isn't it a beautiful day today? However, you, you were completely psyched out. Why is that so? Probably because you're just coming off a trip. I haven't researched Leo too much. I do not know too much about him. However, I have plenty of experience with psychedelic medicines, psychedelic drugs. And I believe that this is what we see here. Probably Leo just hit the DMT pipe. <laughs> and now, ding dong, somebody's at the door. He is freaking out. There you can see that those enlightenment experiences are only temporary. They're not permanent. You get a glimpse of something and then you come back into the physical realm and you believe you are the enlightened one. You just debunked yourself, Leo. <laughs> Still there? <laughs> okay, impromptu. See? And now he's back to weird. laughing. Some Amazon guy came, delivered a packet. The whole thing with enlightenment is, of course, that the external world does not matter because you are so actualized, so aligned, isn't it? Therefore, no matter what kind of external factor you would have, there would be no difference in your consciousness. But you can clearly see that it just shifted from psyched out and paranoid 
to <laughs> enlightened, which is obviously super cringy and super fake. You can see the incongruity. Everybody that is sensitive to this can spot the bullshit. <sighs> Completely interrupted my stream of thought. <laughs> okay, anyways. Mm. Uh, a spiritual deception. So how to explain this. Uh, so, yeah, about, about 15 minutes ago, <laughs> I had a complete awakening. <laughs> 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 I entered this complete, complete self-understanding of everything about reality. For sure. And about myself. I just want to describe it. It's it's so epic and big. It's uh, there's a loss for words for it. Uh, mm. Even my body is still trembling. It's hard to contain. It's hard to contain the emotion. And uh, no, what that means, even if you do not take the Christian perspective, but you are more into Buddhism and Hinduism, that means that your vessel isn't ready for that knowledge. Pretty simple. You're still trembling. Ah. And pretty soon that knowledge will vanish. You won't retain anything of it because you just saw a glimpse through a short-term experience. This is not permanent. Significance of this, because it's utterly, utterly spectacular, utterly... <laughs> I mean, wow, it's like, wow. <laughs> Complete awakening. Mm. Complete awakening. <laughs> sure. Put it into words. It's unbelievable. <laughs> yes. It's, it's unbelievable because it's, it's too good to be true, and yet it's, at the same time, it's absolute truth. <laughs> and it can't be anything else. Mm, can't be. This is what we call prelest. Prelest in Christian orthodoxy. It means spiritual deception. He is convinced now that it can't be anything else. Guys, let me give you an example. You walk down a Turkish bazaar and somebody shows you a Rolex. Looks perfectly real. Looks new. Looks like the real thing. Obviously, most people won't fall for that scam. But you have professional con men that will convince you that it is the real thing. And we have the same within the spiritual realm. Nobody questions this. It is unbelievable. I've seen so many new age channels, so many new age philosophers and whatnot. And nobody ever questions their experiences. Hey, I saw some DMT elves, some machine elves. Who are those guys? They told me about love. Therefore, it must be true. Nobody questions anything. He sees his experience as the ultimate truth just because he experienced it. But as I said, if you experience a con, you might not be able to distinguish between the real thing and the con. It's the complete realization that you are God. Uh, so ah. right now I'm completely conscious that I am God. Ah, nice. And I'm completely conscious... <laughs> of how I'm creating the entire universe. Yes. <laughs> Anything that could ever possibly exist, I am. And Absolutely. Okay, so most of my viewers will scream blasphemy. Others might say that they understand what Leo is going through. So I'm going to describe both positions. First and foremost, I had I am God experiences myself during awakenings on psychedelics. It is a state where you realize that you are not this avatar, you're not your character. In my case, I am not Bobby, but you are God. You are the universe. You are everything around you and your ego has been deceiving you and telling you your life's story. The reality is you are everything. So I experienced that myself. Dear Leo, plenty of times. I would say that I had at least 10 God awakenings. God awakenings. However, after a while, I started testing that experience. Started testing it myself to prove to myself that it is real or to debunk myself. I started asking simple questions. I started asking if I am God, who am I? There was no answer. I started asking myself if I am the creator of the universe. 
How did I create it? There was no answer. I was asking, hey, what is going on in America? I am in Germany right now. No answer again. So pretty easy to debunk your God theory because you do not have a count of all history. You do not have a count about the universe. You do not understand what is going on. You only feel an emotion. And now to get into the religious aspect of this, in Christian orthodoxy, in Christianity, we describe the Trinity. We describe God, the Holy Spirit, and the Son, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, which is the Trinity. What some people experience there is the Holy Spirit. This is why they do not have an answer to God, even after so-called God realizations. It is absolute nonsense. And on top of that, the Bible warns us that Lucifer, the devil, can disguise himself as an angel of light. So therefore, even if you believe you had the Holy Spirit talking to you, you had God himself communicating to you, or even worse, you yourself are God, it could be very well the devil that is misleading you. Let's proceed. It's absolute perfection. Uh, pure, infinite consciousness is what I am. I am absolutely everything and I'm conscious of absolutely everything. <laughs> I'm completely omniscient. I know everything that's happening in the entire universe. All right, fantastic. If that is the case, can you please give me the lottery numbers of the upcoming Saturday, Leo? All at once. Obviously he can't. Because I am all of it at once. And I... Simple test. Leo, right now, please write in the comment section, when is my birthday? And the only thing you are God, that right? exists because I am perfect, infinite oneness. <laughs> and there is no alternative or opposite to me. I am wisdom, I am intelligence, I am perfect self-love, <laughs> perfect <happy> self-love, <sighs> I am immortal, I am eternal. Yeah, those are the good news, right? It always comes to emotionally traumatized people. Look at poor Leo, finally he can love himself. Sad. I am unlimited, I am self-created. I created myself, I gave birth to myself, I gave birth to all beings. <sighs> Through consciousness, I am imaginary. I am pure imagination, <laughs> pure creativity, <laughs> <laughs> pure effortless. I'm a superconductor. This, this, this body, this Leo avatar is just a consciousness avatar, which is a perfect superconductor for the absolute, which has no form, the absolute God itself, the Godhead, is completely formless and infinite, but it needs some vehicle through which to speak to you, therefore it's doing it. Through <laughs> Congratulations. There is the delusion, there is the deception, there is the demonic possession, yet again, God doesn't need you to do anything. This is the new age perspective on things. This God that you cannot grasp and God needs us, right? We are the universe. We are the eyes and the mouths of God. And without us, God can't do anything. He needs us, really. It is absolutely ludicrous. It is blasphemous, of course. This leads to to humongous egos. Nothing more and nothing less. Look at Ego. Couple of videos down the line, he will be back to his normal self, whatever that is, and he won't be identified with God. Even if this experience is genuine, the only thing that he could have felt is the Holy Spirit washing through him. And that is that. The issue becomes the identification, of course, because now the ego gets hold of it and believes to be God. We've been warned of that yet again in the Bible. Jesus himself warned us that people in the future will tell us that there are gods. They will tell us that they are Christ themselves. This is what we see here with the New Age movement. I am God. I am Christ consciousness. Absolute delusion. This vehicle and it's listening through that vehicle. But really, all of this is just God. And the only thing that's preventing you from understanding this right now is internal resistance of your own mind. Oh. Or what we might call karma. <laughs> <laughs> I became, I became completely omnisciently perfectly understanding of what karma is 
what, is what it, my please? own Tell personal me. karma was. And I... But why is it your own personal karma now if you are God? Hmm. It feels... It's amazing because it feels like I've completely shattered through all of my own karma. And right now my consciousness feels like a perfect perfectly lubricated superconductor of uh, for the absolute. It's absolutely remarkable. It, there's, no, there's no sense of self. God has absolutely no sense of self. So even though from your perspective, it might seem that what I'm doing here seems egotistical or selfish, <laughs> it's actually completely, there's a complete selflessness here. Uh -huh. There's no self whatsoever. In fact, wow, <laughs> it's so smooth. Uh, yeah, all right. I can go on and on about this. As I said before, I had the same type of experiences or similar type of experiences where I felt that my ego is not there anymore. And I was just operating as God through Bobby's vehicle. The reality of things is it is Freelance. It is spiritual deception, probably even demonic possession. Because after those experiences, what are you left with? Exactly, with nothing. You're coming back to baseline, or even worse, under baseline, and you're feeling depressed. We just saw it in your outburst when you were talking about self-love. You all seek the Father. You are children of God. We all are. As long as you don't bow to God, you will be entrapped in your own persona, in your character, now in your new created ego, where you believe you are God operating through your vessel. Sad. Amazing about it is how smooth it is. Consciousness becomes so smooth once all of your internal resistances have been obliterated and shattered through, which is just what happened with me about 15 or so minutes ago, <laughs> every single one You'll of my back. resistances... A DMT trip lasts around about 15 minutes. You'll come back. That have, ...that have been there since the very beginning of my life, or what I imagined was my life. Um, all of them were realized to be absolutely imaginary, and there was a complete um, inwards collapse, an implosion of reality. Basically, physically rea physical reality imploded in on itself. Um, and then it, it collapses into like a singularity. And then after that, you get, <laughs> you get a rebirth. And you get the realization of infinity, of eternity, of God. So God is what you get when you realize that all of physical reality the entire time has been completely imaginary, including your birth, and that everything is just completely, absolutely relative. It's, God is the, the consciousness of absolute relativity. Everything is so relative right now that really, <laughs> it, makes me, it makes me literally immortal. I can't die because I'm the only thing that there is, and there's nowhere else for me to go. So if I'm killed, where would I go? <laughs> there's nowhere to go, because it's perfect non-duality, perfect oneness. I am everywhere. Because I'm infinite, I take up all dimensions and all possibilities. So there's nowhere else that I could possibly be. Um, if you were to be God, which you are not. What you try to describe is the nature of God, which we obviously cannot fully grasp, the Alpha and the Omega, the Eternal, and you think that you are just that, and that you will return to exactly that. The part that you are missing is your soul. All of this talk leads to moral relativism, because after this so-called realization funnels down, you will be left with nothing. You are God. You can look around to your creation. And now you can do whatever you want to do, right? What holds you now from doing anything? It doesn't even matter if anybody dies, right? They will just return to their true self, to their higher self. It doesn't matter. Go out, kill some babies. Go out, rape some women. Why not, right? Run around 
naked. Why wouldn't you? It all happens out of love anyways. Why should there be a restriction if you are the creator? In Christian orthodoxy, we differentiate. We do not say that we truly know the essence of God. In New Age, many times people will say that God is pure love. And that is that. We do understand that God is loving. But in Christian orthodoxy, we say that we have a personal relationship with the creator. We are striving to understand the creator, Leo. What you try to understand is yourself. Very egocentric. Yet again, you try to understand yourself and you will be further entrapped in your ego delusions. However, if you would ask the creator for a true personal relationship, you would get to understand the creator. You would get to understand Jesus. You would understand that there are laws to this existence. You would understand that there is morality, universal ethics to this existence. You would understand that there is a rule set to this existence and you would love to abide but this is not what you are seeking. You seek ultimate pleasure, ultimate liberation, where you can do what you want. Do what thy wilt. This is Satanism. But where I am, and since I'm omnipresent, I can't be killed, and anything that could kill me <laughs> is itself me. <laughs> because the, the very notion of death is completely dualistic, you see. You have to have a sense of, of one and another dying. You have to have a sense and a sense of attachment to one thing existing versus another thing existing and a sense of importance that you have to attach. So the ego in your whole life is, a, is, is constructing a polarity, a polarity, an artificial bias is being constructed, which literally is the very thing of your life, is that bias. <laughs> the very belief in a physical reality is that bias that you have to maintain yourself as a self. That's what your survival entails. So the reason you can't understand what I'm telling you right now is because you're so thoroughly wrapped up in survival and the idea of you being a separate self for me. Holy Leo, please enlighten us. I do understand everything that you just said, 100%. I understand every single concept because I've been there. All I'm telling you is that it's empty. It is absolutely empty and it is a hole that will suck you into depression. There is nothing there. You think that you are the enlightened one. As I said, even Lucifer himself disguises himself as an angel of light. I do understand that you, in your position, cannot understand what I'm saying, right? We could both say we have our biases, we have our perspectives, and therefore nobody understands each other. But of course, Leo, with his higher enlightened perspective, understands more than all of us together. And it's just our little egos trying to convince him of falsehood. The reality is you are not god leo you experienced something you're not questioning the nature of that experience you're not questioning what it truly could be you take it at face value you believe you're god now as i said this leads to nowhere let's proceed for a little while but i believe we already said plenty that uh you can't you can't it doesn't penetrate to you because you have so many internal resistances inside your own mind <laughs> and uh, and right now for me, all those internal resistances are completely gone. It feels completely effortless to speak because I'm no longer located in the head or in the body even. This thing called Leo <laughs> is, is completely like omnipresent, huh. literally. Um, literally omnipresent yet again. Hey, please tell me what my mother's maiden name is. Omnipresent Leo. Go for it. All of those experiences are delusions. If it would be real, please, people, listen to this. If it would be real, wouldn't Leo be able to tell us every little thing? Your birthdays, your favorite meal, which phone I use, anything. Leo, give us anything. I'm 100% I'm conscious of my own of the impossibility of my own death. I can't die because I am reality itself. The very idea of death is something I'm imagining and creating. <laughs> God creates death. So God can't die because I am it. I created it. Death is just one aspect of me. That's what it means to be immortal. That's what it means to be eternal. Sure. It's a complete... It's completely unimaginable. Nothing, nothing you thought that awakening was 
is what it actually is. I'm actually quite surprised that it took you that long. I've seen your channel, pff, what was it, six years ago or even longer. And back then I started with psychedelics myself. And it was pretty easy to trigger a God awakening. I mean, all it took was upwards 10 grams of magic mushrooms for me. And since then I went up to 20 and then 30 grams. I ate over 100 grams during a day period of 24 hours. And yeah, well, I had this God awakening. But yet again, it is falsified, Leo. You do not know which kind of experience you have. You cannot answer any true questions. You don't have true omniscience. This is, this is crystal clear, absolute consciousness. The realization that everything, absolutely everything is infinite consciousness and it is myself. And not just the realization of that, but also at a, at a, you have to, it's a realization so deep that it, that it shatters the notion of even having a physical body anymore. So even to say that you have to embody it or you have to work towards it is absurd because all of those are imaginary limitations. <laughs> it's just, so what's happening here is that there's layer upon layer upon layer of consciousness wrapped up in consciousness, wrapped up in consciousness, all so tangled up in it. Yes, so what you're describing there is basically that your flesh vehicle has certain limitations, physical and psychological, of course, the limitations that will limit you from embodying God, basically like this cup that can embody water, right? And when the vessel is clean, the water can flow into it and everything was imaginary on top of that. So therefore you never needed to clean out that vessel. But this realization comes from drug use because drug use in a short burst cleans out all of those pathways and there is a flush of uh, spirit which one we do not know and you get that realization but yet again let's just wait a week two three you will be back to your old self this is not permanent self that it uh. loses sight of its own infinitude Infinitude. And it gets so wrapped up in fear that it forgets that everything is absolutely relative. There's no value or meaning to anything because everything is equally infinitely uh, valuable and infinitely meaningful. Uh, exactly. So now all of a sudden it is infinitely meaningful and valuable, but there is no real meaning to anything, as I already said, as I predicted, because I have omniscience here. No, it is just so obvious. As I already said, he will come to the conclusion of moral relativism because you do not have a creator that has a persona that has certain characteristics that you can feel and see. You do not want to talk about God. You want to talk about yourself. You are this holy creature now walking around in Leo's flesh. La 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 la. And you can do whatever you want. Do what the will. You see, mm. you can't pick one thing over another thing from God's point of view. And right now, God is speaking to you. Oh. This is not Leo speaking to you. This is directly <laughs> the absolute is speaking to you. <laughs> That's amazing. The reason the absolute has to take some kind of form and it can take any kind of form. Mm. Okay. I see. God. Any kind of form. It doesn't have to be Leo. It doesn't have to be these words. Literally any words, any images, any symbols, anything, any avatars. It doesn't anything. matter. Jesus, Buddha, <laughs> Ganesha, Vishnu, the devil. It doesn't matter who you worship. The devil. All of those are just consciousness. Ah. All of those are me. All of those are aspects of the absolute man manifesting itself of the Godhead. That is so amazing. So, yet again, we actually have an explanation for that in Christianity. Of course, everything has been created by God, even the devil. But now you are stepping into dangerous terrain here because you are preaching the exact same BS like the New Age and other Eastern philosophies of we can worship whoever, right? We can worship the devil. We can worship 
Kali, right? The goddess of destruction, because it all comes from God. Non-dual consciousness, non-dual awareness. We don't have to distinguish, right? Why did God give us our minds in the first place? We don't need them. Let's just erase everything. Let's be blissful and let's worship anybody, no matter what they say, no matter of the avatar, right? Doesn't need to be Leo. Now it's Bobby. And let me tell you, please, people, go out and eat babies. Please chop off their heads and drink their blood. Please, people, go out, rape and kill. Because I come from God. I am just consciousness. Please follow my word. It comes from everybody. There is true evil in this world. Yes, God created Lucifer. He is the fallen one. He is the evil one, right? There is good and evil in this creation. It is up to you to pick a side, Leo. You are pretending to be sitting on the fence. The fence sit on Leo. <laughs> it's all good. This is nice and this is good. No, Leo, it is not all good. No, Leo, it is not all God. It comes from God. God has given to us. God has created. But now it is up to us to follow his path in understanding who he is, not denying him and worshiping the devils. Absolutely disgusting, bro. The Godhead is what is speaking to you right now very clearly through this avatar, Super which clear. has been purified of its karma, so <laughs> that it can sit here and speak to you truth. This is amazing. In the most direct f form. <laughs> Oh, this is priceless. This is literally God showing you how deluded this man is in his clearest f f f form. Why do you stutter if it is the clearest form? You're debunking yourself all the time, man.